Hello. Hi, Sasha. Hello, Dean George. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. I know you are a busy person ever since college has started. Now let's get right to it. What do you what do you teach? Can you please be as specific as you can? Okay. First, my name is Jerry George. I'm the Dean of the Business School at Singapore Management University. I'm a professor of innovation and entrepreneurship. So I teach how to manage growth in businesses as well as how can companies uh, have innovation so that they can come out with new products and services. Mm -hmm. So how many books exactly have you written? I've written five books and then one of them is an additional book in Chinese. So a total of six books. Yes. Uh, but they're non-fiction books. So they're not quite as interesting as your books. That, that is, that's a lot of books. That's and okay. Uh, you, you know, I've had lots of time to write it. <laughs> so how many papers have you written? Uh, for research papers, I've written over a hundred papers. That's a lot of papers. I've also had lots of time to write them. I see. What, what type of books do you write? Um, this book here, which I'm going to give you, it's called The Business Model Book. This was uh, written last year. It came out last year by a publisher called Pearson. Right? And this book is about how can new ventures, new businesses, startups, uh, think of new business models? So I, we talk about my co-author and I, my co-author is called Adam Bock. Both of us are, uh, we started working on this uh, research maybe over 10 years ago. And then only now, after teaching it for a long period of time, we wrote it into a book. So can I give this book to you? <laughs> sure. Thank you. You're welcome. So, who is your favorite author? My favorite author? I, I read a lot more academic books. So, if I give you one favorite author in the academic world, the rest of my friends will get upset. So, I'm not going to give it to you. <laughs> but I like a lot of science fiction. Okay. So, what subject do you write about? Tell me more about what Manage management means. Management, okay. So if you think of a big business, you've got lots of people, right? So you have to have five simple principles. How do you plan for the business, right? And before you get to plan, what are your goals? So you talk about what do you want to achieve in this business? And after that, you do the plan. And then you have something called, how do you lead a business? So how can you as a senior manager, then make sure that everybody in the business does what you want the business to do. And then how do you control its performance? So you want to make sure that you, um, uh, you get the right performance, right? Because you do a lot of things, you invest a lot of money. How do you make sure that you get the right return for that money? And then you look at people and you say, how do I make sure that I incentivize all my people in my company, right? To work in the same way. It's like going rowing, right? You want to go from one place to the other. That's your goal. So how do you make sure that all the people in your little boat are working in the same way so that you can get there faster? So where, where do you get your inspiration from? Our inspiration comes as a researcher from reading a lot, from talking to companies. So a lot of uh, chief executives and a lot of uh, uh, managers talk to me about their problems and then I file it away. I might not have an immediate solution, but over time when you think about it, then it sort of comes up with, you come up with ideas because you take little problems from everywhere and then you start thinking about a bigger framework. And when you have a framework, then you write a book. I hope that has been helpful. It has. So what are you currently or going to start writing right now? 
my next book, um, I've got three colleagues that I've uh, uh, discussed with around the world. One is in the University of Toronto, another one is in Cambridge, and another one is in University of Pennsylvania. We, we are going to work uh, on a book on sustainability and impact. So how do you measure if a company is making the right contributions to society? So what does or what or does your family have an impact on your writing? Oh, I've got a lovely wife and two wonderfully smart daughters and they are always supportive. So whenever I start working, they leave me alone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's important because you need time to think, you need time to write. And, and sometimes I talk about it and with my girls and they might have ideas. Okay, so who publishes your books? I've got different publishers. It depends on the type of book you're really going after. So if you're going for um, the audience, if your audience is academics and researchers, then you'd go for a publisher like Cambridge University Press or Oxford University Press. If you're looking at uh, sort of um, an audience which is much more about business people and books that you read in the airport, then you're looking at Pearson, uh, you're looking at Financial Times, things like that. So... Uh, but I who, publish only non-fiction. Okay. So who designed your books? Each of my publishers, they come up with ideas and then uh, I don't have any illustration inside. The, all the graphic work inside is done by me and my co-authors, but the cover for the book is done by uh, uh, the publisher. They generate ideas and they ask me to give some suggestions and I do that. Okay. So finally, if you were, if you were to write a book uh, about the future, what will it look like? What, what will it look like? Can you describe it for us? I'd, I'd like to think I'm much more a positive person, so I think that the world, uh, the businesses in this world would do a lot more on climate change, on sustainable development, that we're, the world will be better because our businesses take up an important task to save the world. So I'm very positive about it. But you've asked me a lot of questions. Can I ask you a few? <laughs> sure. Okay. Why are you asking me these questions? So I can like see what others, other than myself, who has written like one book, but I'm going to publish others, that to see what like other people have done and also to show it to others yeah. out there. Oh, that's very good. And why would you want to publish a book? Well, I like sharing my imagination oh, with other people. Oh, that's very good. So. I, I, I really like that you're inspired, you have creative imagination, you, you're able to think about new ideas, and you're publishing in a genre that is not similar to what I do. So that's very good, mm -hmm. that's impressive. And you're like, what, 10 years old? Yes. Okay, so hopefully you'll become an academic at some point in time. We need smart people like you. Thank you. <laughs> I would like to thank you for your time today. I appreciate your answers. This is Sasha signing out. <laughs>